from Structural Engineering Basics and today we're going to talk to you about uh, the loads that structural engineers use to design structures. Structures are designed to resist um, loads on a building that could cause a building to uh, collapse or elements in the building to fail. These loads are uh, split into two types of loads. There's vertical loads and then there's horizontal loads on the building. The vertical loads are broken up into dead and live loads. Some uh, engineers call these loads gravity loads. The dead loads make up uh, the weight of the structure. They consist of materials and finishes. They are dead loads because they never change. Uh, some of these dead loads can include the flooring on a structure, the roofing, the wall studs, the concrete beams that make up the structure. Uh, live loads are basically uh, what goes into the building, like the people and what they, the people choose to put in the building, like furniture or equipment. This can vary depending on the type of building and the occupancy. So if you have an office building, there might just be a few people, a few desks, some computers, a lot of open space. But then if you have a mechanical room, this is where you get some really heavy equipment. So we design the live load to be a lot higher and heavier when we design the structure. Uh, there's also snow loads, and these are sort of like a live load, and snow loads change from location to location, but these could be really significant, heavy loads. My professor at school once told me to think of snow load on a building, if you look at a garage, that there could be multiple large elephants on your roof structure. So if you think of how much an elephant weighs, that's uh, how much snow could potentially weigh. Um, and yeah, it could be different in Winnipeg, where I'm from. Winnipeg, there's a lot of snow, and then there's California, the West Coast, nice. They probably don't get much snow, so the load that they have to design for is a lot less. Um, horizontal loads consist of stuff like wind and earthquakes. Earthquakes, uh, when the earthquakes happen, it sort of uh, makes the building shift and vibrate and causing lateral loads. And these change depending on the weight of the structure and also the location of the building relative, let's to say, uh, to a tectonic uh, zone or where there's lots of earthquakes. There also could be lateral earth pressure. This is a lateral load for our basement foundation wall. If it's a deep wall, the more earth that's built up against that wall, uh, the larger the load is on the wall. So you have to, we have to make sure that we design for those big, large lateral loads. Well, anyways, hopefully this gives you uh, information and a little background on the type of loads that us as structural engineers use to design a building. We also have other great content on our YouTube page, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out uh, on anything. Thanks, and see you again soon.